I'm Spencer Curley from University of California, Irvine, and Ed Manuki's lab, and I am going to demonstrate how to do cryosectioning. To do that, I use these commonly used reagents. First, uh, the embedding compound or embedding media that I use is called uh, OCT for optimal cutting temperature. It's a clear solution. Um, it's very thick and viscous and it holds the tissue nicely while you can orient it. And then it freezes and ultimately it's water soluble so you can get rid of it um, during any type of uh, staining procedure. So I embed the tissue in a mold, these uh, cryomold biopsy uh, containers. They come in various sizes. I will be using this uh, smaller mold here because I do uh, embryonic tissue from mouse. We uh, flash freeze our tissue in liquid nitrogen. So first I'm going to fill this protective uh, vacuum flask with uh, liquid nitrogen from our tank here. Prior to uh, flash freezing the tissue, you have to uh, what's called cryoprotect the tissue. Otherwise, freezing itself will uh, destroy the tissue. So what you do is you uh, sink the tissue in a 30% sucrose solution overnight. And if it takes longer, that's all right, uh, just as long as the tissue sinks. And as you can see, these uh, embryonic day 12.5 uh, mouse heads are uh, have sunk in the uh, in the sucrose solution, so they are.